Catalytic converters have been a big target for thieves in order to sell them for a big profit. Yeah, well now a new ordinance to address the problem has gone into effect here in Houston. KPRC2's Kathy Hernandez is live with what that ordinance makes illegal. Kathy, how is this supposed to help stop the crime? Well, good morning. First of all, I want to tell you it could happen anywhere at any time. Catalytic converter thefts actually just take seconds to steal the device from your vehicle. And why do they do it? They can turn around and sell it for hundreds of dollars. And then you're left with thousands of dollars in repairs. Take a look at this video. In the first three months of 2022, HPD reported more than 3,100 catalytic converter thefts, a 123% increase from last year. The ordinance is expected to stop business to business reselling of stolen catalytic converters and make it necessary for anyone that has a cut catalytic converter to show proof of ownership. Anyone without that proof could be charged with a misdemeanor. I do want it to be made known and clear that the resale of these catalytic converters uh, are really not um, allowed in the city of Houston. You know, uh, if you're going to do it, you want to make it as inconvenient as possible for you. And repair shops selling catalytic converters must show receipt of repairs, including business name, address, year, make, model, and VIN. The metal recycler must verify the business. Only exception there, a seller with valid used automotive parts recycler license issued by the state. Individuals must show year, make, model, and VIN and copy of title or proof of ownership. The metal recycler buying the catalytic converter must take pictures of that device and then input that information in HPD's investigation system. Of course, again, this is just uh, one way they're working to crack down on those catalytic converter thefts. Reporting live in Northwest Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.